Hey, in this video, I wanna be showing you how to create the Far Cry 6 logo. So I'm in Illustrator and you can see this is the logo that I've created just like the Far Cry 6 logo. We can see here, if you go on Google, type Far Cry 6, which is coming out next year. Look at that, this is the logo. It looks super cool, super awesome, uh, awesome. A lot of texture, a uh, bit of grunge there and nice typography. Um, obviously it's custom made and then cool imagery in the back. I'm gonna show you how to make this real quick. The font that I'm using for this is Nista Grotesque. It was the closest font I could find in my arsenal that I that was close. So I'm just gonna use this one. You could probably use something like Bebes, um, Futura, uh, Monster Rat, things like that would probably be similar. But what I have to do, I actually have to customize this. So the first thing I do when I get a font is I, I tighten up the kerning in this case. So I'm gonna tighten that up by holding Alt and tapping the left key. And then obviously I'm going to go to type and then go to create outlines. And this is my base. I'm gonna just duplicate this real quick just in case I make a mistake. But what I'm gonna do is start to customize the letters here. So first up, I wanna customize this A. So the F is kind of similar, so I'm gonna leave that. But I'm gonna probably extend this a little bit. And then for the A, what I'm gonna do is grab the top anchor points with the direct selection tool. So you press A and then drag it and select that. And then I'm gonna hold shift and pretty much drag it until it snaps into place. So you can see there, it's just straight down the line there. I'm just gonna move this a little bit. And then obviously I've got these points here. So I'm just gonna get rid of that point and then I'm gonna move this inside here. So for these points, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select this Hold shift, select that one, and then select this one and this one. And then go into the top corner of my toolbars. Make sure you click the drop down menu and select align to key anchor. Then what you want to do is click right aligned. So I will control Z that so you guys can see. So look at what happens to the anchor points. You click that and it literally shreddens it out for you, which is super awesome. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to make a quick path just so we can have consistency in these lines here. So I'll press P, then I'll left click and find a nice spot. And then I'm gonna left click again and press control five to make a guide. Now we've got this cool guide. So I'm gonna use this to make my middle section there of the counter. And I'm gonna drag that just like that. And I can just zoom in with my mouse wheel and just to check that it's all aligned, just so we can keep it symmetrical and consistent as you can see there. And that's why we made that guide. Then what I'm gonna do, because this side, left side's a bit uh, not thick, I'm just going to select these two outer anchor points and bump that out. And just using my optical eyes just to optically adjust that. So you can see that we've got that line, that is looking good. I can, you know, move this up if I want to make it a smaller, but I think that is looking fairly good. And I'm just gonna move the F in a bit tighter there, as we can see, and I'm gonna tighten the top bit uh, just the F. Beautiful. Okay, cool. So we've done that first section. For the R, what we have to do is you can see this font has a little, uh, the leg here is on the right. So I'm just going to delete this for a second. And then I'm going to rejoin this. So I'll left click and then click on the point here and just drag just to continue that, just to edit it. I can hold Alt or Option on my keyboard and drag the handle just to fix that curve. So awesome, now we've got this curve. Now what I'm going to do is press M and drag out a, a square. I'm going to just quickly change the color and make it the same size as this leg here so we can have consistency. And then I'm going to just drag this down and then I'm going to skew it. So I'll, I'll drag the anchor points, bring these in like that. I can bring it a little up, so I drag that in. Then I'm gonna drag this out like that as you can see and I'll make this black and it is looking closer to what we, how we want it I might just make this a little bit thicker it doesn't have to be a hundred percent but if we get it pretty close then I'm happy I might bring this in a little bit just to tighten that up okay sweet awesome I'm just gonna select this as well remember press a for the direct selection tool and V for the normal selection tool Press A, drag the that in a bit. And what we're gonna do for the C, I'm gonna select these anchor points on the right and delete them just like that. 
And then I'm just gonna join the top and the bottom there for a second. I'm gonna press M for the marquee tool, drag out a box. And pretty much what you can do, just drag it to the size of that, of that part. And then I'm drag it in a bit. And then I'm gonna drag this down like this to have that sort of hanging down of that shape. I'm gonna duplicate that. And once again, make a square, same size as that. And it should be the same size. And you can just fix this like that. Make sure it snaps into place. And beautiful, that's looking good. I'm just gonna tighten that up, bring in the R there, as you can see. Just to make it even, and it's looking good so far. Because the R, I have to delete this, and I'm just going to select these two pieces, press Shift M, and I'm gonna plus that, so now the R is solid. And I'm gonna duplicate it and drag it across, just like that, which is super, super cool. And for the C, for this font, you can see the C is a little bit larger. I'm gonna just drop that down like that, just to tighten that up, because the C was a little bit larger than the um, X height of the other letters. So cool, we have that R, uh, which is great. And then for the Y, I'm gonna select these middle points and bring these up. Just press up and to extend the stem bit. Then I'll tighten that up, and then I'll get the six and bring this in a little bit. And for the six, we're gonna have to customize this as well. So what I wanna do is select everything. I'm gonna plus to get rid of that circle there. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag out a box, make it white, bring this up a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna round off the corners. So I'm gonna grab these corners, hold shift. And then what you do is you find, once you select them, you find the little white circle and round those off like this. And now we've got sort of this droplet type of shape, which is really cool. Then I'm gonna press M and make a white box, as you can see, I'm showing you in red. You can make a white box and then I'm gonna duplicate it, hold Alt and bring it up like this, right? Because the six is also custom up here as well, we're gonna have to edit this bit. So I'm just gonna delete this anchor point. I'm going to drop this down and make sure it's in line with this point and press Control J so just so we can um, join the path here, as you can see. And then for this, I'm just gonna bring this down. So just slowly, like just little tweaks here and there make the big difference. Another thing I notice is that this thing is high and it's thick here. So that's for that. I'm gonna just drag it like this. And this one, I think this is fine, but I might just bring it down a little bit. And for this, it's a bit more straight on this part here. It's not as curved. So what you do is you hold Alt, put your mouse over the anchor point, and then what you want to do is you want to drag. So I'm holding my mouse down, and then I'm going to hold Shift. So I'm holding Alt, Shift, and left click, and drag out to the side. And so you can round off the corner and make it sort of more straight there. Because that's how the logo looks a bit more like that. And I can probably make this a little bit consistent as well just bump that up because the original one it's a bit more tight up here um in terms of the spacing like the spacing is less it's more tight there and then what i want to do i want to press shift m hold alt to minus and i'm going to left click the, these shape the white shapes that i made so now it's just like by itself and then i'm just going to Scale this up a little bit because we like customized it. Bring that up like this. And boom, I think that looks fairly, fairly close. But the R as well, I'm gonna just tighten up a little bit. And boom, I think that's looking good. I'm just gonna duplicate this, and drag it to the side here, just in case so I know it's sweet. And then what I'm gonna do is go to my Pathfinder tool, because we still have some shapes hanging around. You want to select everything and then press the first one, which is Unite, and it's going to plus everything together, as you can see. Now it's all one shape. I can pick the orange color that I grabbed from the image from Google. So from this image here, as you can see, I grabbed the orange up there. And if you notice, you'll see it's got a lot of texture in here. And what we can actually do, we can actually add like a war texture, 
or we can add a concrete or something like that to really make it look nice. So what I'll do is um, you can go on Envato free pick. I've got some cracked earth textures here, which I've kind of like. So what I'm going to do is just drag one of these textures out here. I'm going to rotate it. You know, for whatever side I want, I'm going to drag it out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a clipping mask. You can do a normal mask, but for this, I'm just going to add a clipping mask. Press Control C, Control V. Now I've got a duplicate on top of it. So I'm just going to make it red so you guys can see. We have a red duplicate. And then what I'm going to do is select the shape, hold shift, select my image. I'm just going to press F3 because that's my shortcut, but it's Control 7 to make a clipping mask. As you can see there. And it didn't work because we didn't make a compound path. For and it didn't work because... <clears throat> so what we have to do, just before we make that mask, we need to make these shapes a compound path. So I'm going to select them, go to Object, Compound Path, Make. Now this is one shape. Then I'll hold Shift, left click on my image with the text. Then what you can do is you can make a clipping mask, which is Control 7. And now we have this cool mask. All we have to do now is select the top shape, go to my transparency panel and go down to multiply. And then we drop to about 50%. And there we have this really, really amazing logo. Then what we can do is I can group this together, press control C. Now we have that awesome Far Cry 6 logo. It's looking smick. We can always play around with the textures, but I'm just showing you an example of how we can use it. And there we have it, guys. That's how you create the Far Cry 6 logo. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if this was cool and you want more game design logos because I love doing that stuff. It's fun. But smash the like button and also drop a subscribe because I post consistently designed tutorials and content for growing graphic designers who want to impact the world. Thanks so much. I'll chat to you soon. See you later.